Our next guest says his departure isn't actually that big a deal. Joining me on the line from Copenhagen is Eileen Burbage, a business and tech expert with Passion Capital. Eileen, thanks very much you for taking the time to speak to us. So can you start by giving me your general thoughts, your reaction to Steve Jobs' resignation as CEO of Apple? Sure, Miriam. I mean, I, just to rephrase, I do not think it's a big deal. I do think it's absolutely um, you know, monumentous that he is formally resigning. But I do think there's been a lot of... Um, sort of over dramatic uh, reactions to the fact because, in, in fact, as you alluded to in some of the lead in, you know, he has a company behind him that's more than 1,200 strong. Um, it is a force of people and creativity, which is not just him. Certainly, he's a phenomenal leader, um, a tremendous inventor, and he used that word often as opposed to say innovator or simply just a leader or an executive. Um, and so his vision is something that he did stand behind and sort of push through without fear. But I do think the company will be, you know, more than capable of continuing to execute on that vision that was clearly, you know, years and years ahead of its time. Um, and I think, you know, the new CEO is, is more than capable of doing that and has been in place actually since January when Steve, um, you know, first went on medical leave. So he's been on a leave of absence now for... Um, eight, nine months already, and this isn't the first time he's had to step away. So I do think the company is going to be more than capable and, and very strong in coming years. And, and Steve Jobs himself has always been at pains to point out that Apple is much bigger than himself, just one person. But I, I suppose the dramatic reaction, as you put it, that we've seen to his resignation, I suppose, shows how absolutely instrumental he's been in turning this company around and indeed that the way he's I suppose left his mark really made his stamp in the world of tech indeed and I think a lot of it is about him as a personality and I think um, you know different companies you know position themselves and their brand and um, their voice in different ways I mean if you want to take a I happen to be in Copenhagen right now and I think of some Nordic examples or for instance the company IKEA which also has a very exacting leader behind it one founder who drives that company's vision forward actually has his stamp on every part of the company identity but he's actually not as public um, he's not the voice he's not sort of held up as this deity really behind the company um, he's simply there getting it done and putting his stamp on everything, by the way, but he doesn't sort of put himself out there quite in the way that Apple has always put Steve Jobs out there, well, since he's been back anyway. Um, and so I do think that's why there's such the reaction that you see. Um, and in cases like this, I think they probably put him out there a bit too far because, you know, the reaction on the markets um, is really unfair. It's really what the company is going to achieve and obviously how sort of um, sound business fundamentals are. Exactly. And, you know, some analysts are saying that we may not see a reaction, certainly really in terms of financial impact for a while yet, because, of course, this succession plan will have been in place for a while. There will already be a roadmap, a strategy for the company. We have the next iPhone coming out in September. So I, I suppose we won't really know until perhaps, I don't know, this time next year or perhaps even beyond that, whether Apple has been able to maintain its sort of visionary, uh, extraordinary leadership of this industry under Tim Cook? I absolutely agree. I mean, I think it will be at least two years, if not longer, before you see the difference in that. And even so, he remains, you know, Steve Jobs remains as the company chairman. I have no doubt that he's going to continue to provide creative input in terms of the direction of how people will want to interact with information and uh, content online. And so whether that's an iPhone, an iPad, you know, the generation beyond it, you know, I'm sure he will have a hand in that. And, you know, there are initiatives like Apple TV, which is struggled and struggled to get off the ground. And if that does get off the ground over the next two years, there's no question that that's still part of what Steve's original vision, you know, for the company has been. Um, so there's, I don't think you're going to see a sort of a collapse in its executional operational abilities. And I, I also don't think there'll be a deviation from the roadmap and the vision that he's been able to sort of champion. Eileen Burbage of Passion Capital, really good to get your thoughts, your reaction on this story. Appreciate your time.